we get over this ridge, the rest of the way will all be downhill. Yes, we're almost in Forte territory. From this point on, we should be especially careful not to reveal who we are. Hey, guys! What? You caught up with us sooner than I expected. I assumed we'd at least make it to Forte first. Oh, I'm glad we caught up with you in time. What do you think you're doing? Why in the world did you follow us? Princess, how could you leave without telling anyone in Baroque Castle? There are a lot of people there who are really worried about you. I know this seems reckless, but the circumstances called for decisive action. We must avoid a pointless war, and I feel strongly that meeting in person with Count Waltz is the best way to accomplish that. Sneaking into Forte alone was your best idea? This is Waltz we're talking about. You know there's no guarantee he'll spare your life. Maybe not, but if I were to speak with him, I believe he would spare the Prince. Even if I have to sacrifice my own life, I will protect him. After all the things that I have done, it is the very least I can do to make up for it. Count Waltz doesn't seem like the type who listens to reason. Even if he does let you live, I seriously doubt he'll ever let you set foot in Baroque again. And when Baroque has been thrown into chaos after losing its prince, Waltz will still invade. They're right! You can't abandon Baroque now! <gasps> Whoa, what's that? They're already invading? So many of them. Damn it. All of you, stand by in the skies overhead. Legato, we're descending now. Yes, my lord. Even if we tried to fight a force that size, we'd have no chance of defeating them. And after they finished us off, they'll just continue on to conquer the rest of Baroque. What can we do, Jazz? All we can do is pretend to listen to their demands. That may buy us some time. It would have been terribly rude of me to make you come all the way to Forte. So I thought I'd come meet you halfway. Count Waltz, as a representative of Baroque, I assure you that we've no desire for bloodshed. I came all this way because I'd hoped I'd be able to negotiate with you. I don't want to make the people of my kingdom suffer under the fear of war any longer. You seem to be a noble prince who cares for his subjects. However, I'm afraid we cannot give you any response without some kind of guarantee from your side. I'm sure you understand. I'm turning myself over to Forte. If that is not enough for you, Baroque is prepared to consider terms for surrender to Forte as well. In exchange, I ask for assurance that you will not harm Princess Serenade, these people here, or the citizens of Baroque in any way. Above all else, I want to prevent the killing of innocent civilians in needless conflict. Count Waltz, listen to me. All this time I have kept close watch to make sure that Baroque made no move. That they never invaded Forte. 
And I was fully aware that by doing this, I was lending my support to you and to Forte. But through it all, I believed I was following the correct path because I thought it was the best way to prevent a war. Eventually, though, I realized something. A stalemate is not a solution. Standing still does not solve anything. For things to change, one side needs to take a step back. And so you're saying Baroque has taken a step back? It requires much more courage to take a step back than it does to take a step forward. Would you not agree? After all, there is no guarantee that there will be ground to stand upon. Count Waltz, please negotiate with Baroque, and then perhaps we can step forward together in peace. It should be clear to all concerned that continuing with this mutual animosity benefits no one in the end. But you see, any threat posed by Baroque is no longer a concern at all. And I have even less interest in Baroque's simpering prince. The only thing we're interested in now is that girl. So if you'd kindly turn her over to us, I will guarantee the safety of Prince Crescendo and Serenade. And of course, we promise to treat the young lady with the utmost care and civility. Don't think for a minute that I'm gonna fall for that kind of sweet talk again. Oh, but it is very important to us that this young lady remain in only the best of health. We have no intention of making a prisoner of her. We'll make sure she lives the rest of her life in comfort. You see, all of us want the same thing. So, what is your decision? You're not really after me, though. Isn't that right? You just want to get the glowing agogos. Yeah. We figured out what you guys were up to a long time ago. There's no way I'll go with you. Besides, I already know what it is I have to do. I know what to do to really help everyone. <laughs> you people don't quite understand the situation. Do you honestly think you have any say in the matter? How unfortunate. And just as I was going to respond to Prince Crescendo's little bid for peaceful negotiations... You will hand the girl over to me immediately, because I'm afraid that if you don't, you're dead. Polka! <laughs> it would have been easier if you'd just done as I asked from the beginning. No, Polka, don't do it! Don't go with them! Damn it. Young man, please refrain from doing anything foolish. Unless, of course, you would rather throw away the historic peace that has finally been achieved. Please, right this way. Well? It's confirmed, my lord. Hey! I, I recognize that light. My lord, 
It is just as you surmised. Legato, take the girl and get out of here. But please, do be careful with her. She's our guest. <laughs> Polka! Well now, since I have the girl, I suppose I no longer have any use for the rest of you, do I? Dragons, attack! Tear them all to pieces. Your attack won't work against us. Because we are under the protection of the glowing Agogos. <laughs> Do you really think you can fool me with a ridiculous lie like that? If you think I'm lying, that's your choice. But keep in mind that you're speaking to a guardian of a Gogo forest, so you might not want to take my words quite so lightly. March, hold on! What are you doing? Don't you agree? Sosa? Uh, yeah, that's right. After all, nobody knows more about the Agogos than the two of us. So, how sure are you that we're not telling you the truth? Have you already forgotten how easily we defeated all the precious little henchmen you sent after us? L Lord Waltz, perhaps it would be prudent to listen to what they're saying. Don't be such a fool, Legato. Though it is true we haven't received any reports from Tuba, Fugue, or even Rondo. Not since their respective encounters with you people. You see? What more proof do you need? There's no way anybody out there can beat us! Under the protection of the glowing Agogos, of course you are. <laughs> How amusing! You people really are hilarious! Alright, let's see how well your glowing guardians protect you. If those bumbling idiots couldn't manage it, then why don't we see what I can do? Come on now, let's see what you've got! Come on, let's go! Show me what you've got! <laughs> <laughs> You're too slow. I'm serious. Supernova. Supernova. That went well. There! 
slow. I'm just getting started. It's that. Heal arrow. Thank you. How's that? Go <laughs> You're too slow. I'm not giving up. Aurora curtain. Are you catching on yet? Arse torment! Ore Dominium! <laughs> You're too slow. Take that!
That'll do. Count Waltz! <laughs> this is impossible. How can I possibly lose in battle to the likes of you? You've had things your way quite long enough. It ends here. I don't think so. I'm not ready to admit defeat quite yet. Legato! W what would you like me to do, my lord? Drink all of that medicine immediately. But, but Count Waltz, uh, we haven't finished the testing yet. This is not a request, Legato. Do it, or do you intend to disobey me? But, but my lord... Drink it! Uh, uh, well, I suppose I have no choice. <laughs> there you go, nicely done! I expect nothing less from my second in command. Those dragons were your allies. My allies? <laughs> Those stupid creatures are nothing more than pawns in my little game. And now that I have the deadliest piece on the board, they no longer serve any purpose, do they? Ah, yes, that reminds me. I can't think of any reason to keep you people around, either. I will admit one thing. You have given me some level of amusement. But no more. Now, be good little children and die together! <laughs> <laughs> 